A New Earth by Benjamin Krems Master. A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 271. Whether men wish it or not, the world's institutions are changing. Daily, the news of these changes flashes around the globe at lightning speed, bringing joy or sorrow and despair in equal measure. Never before in Earth's history has man been so conscious of the movement of change or so caught up in its progress. Never before this time has the race of men been so focused on itself and its problems and anxieties. Ere long, the speed of change will gain such momentum that only the least sensitive will find it unremarkable. Mass communications have obliterated time and distance and ensure the engagement of all in the world's transformation. In time, men will come to understand the reasons for these changes, welcome them, and add their willing weight to their implementation. Meanwhile, many find the speed of change slow beyond endurance. Caught in a quagmire of poverty and disease, millions deplore the paucity of improvement and face the future disillusioned and bitter. All hope gone, they contemplate desperate measures to remedy their fate. Dreams of revolution and revenge rise readily in their minds. Only the common tasks of day-to-day -day survival keep check, for now, on attempts to improve their lot. Millions thus suffer needlessly, awaiting a change of heart in people and countries far away. Soon the realization will dawn that their plight need not follow such a painful course, that countless others know nothing of this suffering and grief, that sustenance for all suffices for all and needs only sharing to prove this to be so. Then will the demand for justice echo round the world. Central in that demand will be the voice of Maitreya urging a speedy transformation of all that obstructs the true destiny of men. The great Lord will call for a new dispensation the creation of modes of living which unite rather than sever the sons of men. The formulation of laws which guarantee justice and freedom for all. The redistribution of resources that the needs of all may be met. The better husbandry of resources that the fulfillment of these needs can be sustained. Thus will be fashioned a new earth. Thus will men come to know the joy of right relationship the satisfaction of service, the truer alignment with the purpose of the soul. Soon Maitreya will make heard his voice and issue a rallying cry to the world's servers. Soon his voice will galvanize all those whose hearts are alight with the flame of love, whose ardor awaits only his quickening and support, whose best intentions can be blown to the whitest heat. Soon, now very soon, the Lord and avatar of love will present himself before the world. Be one of those whose first respond to his call.